Okay, I play Silas Weaver. Um, basically, Silas, um, he was once a farmer in Swinford. And I don't want to give away too much information as it will break the story a bit. But um, Silas Weaver is now a demon cast amidst of black magic. Um, he's basically the henchman of Lord Stanbury, who rules Swinford. And yeah, he's, he's, he's almost like his, his front man. He's the guy that goes around killing people. He goes and tells people, you know, don't do that. Don't come to Swinford. This is my town. But he's almost like a voice for Lord Stanbury. I don't want to give too much information away because I'm tempted to let some things slip. But yeah, that's all I can say at the minute. Well, the initial thing that actually interested me was, you know, the fact that it's it's about something spiritual. It's not it's not like other movies. I mean, there is spiritual movies out there, but it's got a connection between each and every character. And I think that, you know, when when you see the connection between the characters, it's not just like, oh, this character is meeting this character. Everyone has a past. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a fear. Even my own character, Weaver, believe it or not, he's got fears as well. And, you know, that, that's what the movie essentially is about, is facing your fears. And that is, yeah, that, that's something that obviously pulled me in. And the fact that, you know, Silas Weaver is, when I heard about the role, it was literally one of my dream roles. And I had to jump at the chance to get this. Absolutely. Oh, well, no, <laughs> I'm joking. No, it's been it's been truly amazing. I mean, um, Trev, the director and writer, he's been absolutely outstanding. Like, it's the first script that I've ever read that I didn't want to change one word. There's always some kind of improv where I wanted to change something in a script, but literally word for word, like, I just love. I'm I'm like reading the story as if I'm reading a new book, and it's just drawing me in. And um, yeah, the, you know, the crew, like we've got the producer Paul and Carl, the cameraman here. And yeah, no, they're like, everyone's just outstanding. I mean, like with, with Carl, um, I don't want to be talking to the camera, but um, you know, he, he edits as he goes. He sees what the finished product's going to look like as he's, you know, filming. And that's something that's amazing and you don't get many places. And I mean, working with, the other actors is there's not there's not one actor I can fault in this at all. There, you know, and I'm not just saying that because I'm working with them now. But there's literally there, there's something spiritual between everyone, as we call ourselves the witch family. But it's yeah, it's it, I haven't worked on a set before where I've been this close and personal with everyone, and they have everyone working you know in sync. It's just amazing because everyone's you know to their full potential. Right, yeah, I do got to be careful with my answers here. Um, Trev, the director, will kill me if I let anything, um, literally kill me, if anything comes out. But um, yeah, I can definitely tell you this is a movie to look out for. It's going to be outstanding. I mean, like the quality of, you know, I, I'm just acting on it at the minute. I haven't seen anything really. And, you know, the quality I know is going to come across. And yeah, this. There, there, there's quite a lot of tension, fear, and quite a lot of confrontation through the movie. I don't want to give too much or any information about the story away, but it will have you curled up in a ball at the end of your seat. Let's just say that. Yeah, um, I just want to say that, um, you know, closer to the release of which um, there's going to be um, quite a lot going around about it and I think um, this is something you've definitely got to spread the word about um, whoever's watching here at home. I mean this this movie it's it's like no other. It's I'm not again I'm not just saying that because I'm part of the movie but there's just something like I get shivers every time I read the script and that has to say something. I mean yeah it's gonna be an amazing movie and like I wouldn't miss any chance of you know getting it out there.